is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are here, my name is Levi. Just got done dropping off some kill built packages. We got class today, so gotta hurry up and get on over there. I'm already a little late, is what it is though. Your guys' packages are a little more important than my class, and I'm not lying when I say that. But it's got a workout later today. Decided to work out in the evening because we still have some special guests with us, which you guys will find out about later. We had someone order the Kill Bill beanie in gray, and then we had someone order this hat, a tank top, and the running shorts. So that was super dope. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm going to get headed to class now, and I'll see you guys afterward. some meal prep for class just a half cup of rice with a serving of 85 15 ground beef and it's getting rough man just like that 1900 calorie or a little blow is really rough dude let me tell you dude people probably think I'm such a goofball for like bringing my meal prep in, my gym bag, huge old gallon water bottle. Like people probably see that and judge me. Like I remember one time someone said to me in the hall, or not in the halls in another class, they're like, I remember you, the guy that always bringing that gallon water around. And people are always gonna have their thoughts. People are always gonna judge you. And so I wanted to get, leave you guys with this note or this mindset that I have. So here's the thing. If you're in shape, people are going to talk shit about you. They're gonna be like, oh, oh he's such a D-bag. He's so full of himself. And if you're fat, people are gonna still talk shit, right? They're gonna be like, oh, he's fat, he's lazy, blah, 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 blah. So if people are gonna talk shit regardless, why don't you just choose the better alternative? I don't understand why, you know, because some people, you know, are insecure about going in the gym and working out and stuff and all that, and it's like, bro, wouldn't you rather people talk about you, you know, trying to get your life together rather than someone talking shit about you because you're not. At least you're doing something with your life, you know? That's the encouraging word of the day. And now we are going to finish this meal prep. I'm starving. And then we're meeting Jack and Isaac at the gym. I know in my last video, I was like, oh, you know, goodbye Jack and goodbye Isaac. But look, we got one more lift together and then they're out of here, all right? I know y'all don't want him to actually leave. They switched pre workout. Pumped by Transparent Labs. We're working out a little later than I anticipated to work out, so that's why we're having the pump today. No caffeine. Perfect for this late, even though I want caffeine. Uh, we're just waiting on Rory and the rest of the crew, Jack and Isaac, to get here, and we'll get to working out.
So, you guys are a little too high for me. Some of you guys may know, I made a comment in another video about how I was going to get my blood work done. I ended up getting my blood work done and I got the results honestly faster than I thought I did. I'm like, this isn't even a sponsored post, but if you guys want to go get your blood done and you want results relatively fast, I don't know how expensive it is, but I got it done by private MD lab. Again, this is not a sponsor, uh, but I was really happy with what they did or essentially their services. So if you guys want to check them out, maybe I'll put a link in the description. If you guys are interested, just ask and then I'll put the link. I don't think I'm going to put the link unless you guys ask. But anyway, I wanted to share my results with you guys because I thought they were fairly interesting and I think that it will help you guys to understand testosterone in a way, both for people that are natural and unnatural. That being said, we are going to pull up these results now. These results were taken when I was around pretty close to four weeks out, so I'm just going to say four weeks, probably around like a little more than four weeks, but four weeks. Now before we get into the interesting stuff or the super exciting stuff, in other words like the testosterone level part, I wanted to point out a couple other things to you guys on this blood sample test that I got. Um, that was another thing that I liked by this company is that I got more than more done than my testosterone. So something that kind of caught me off guard right away was that my bilirubin levels and my glucose levels were a little high and the reason being is because I ate before going and getting my blood work done. I had probably eaten like three hours before I went in, which isn't enough time to obviously get all that stuff out of your system. So when you go get your blood work done, you're actually not supposed to eat for like 12 hours before you get your blood work done. And obviously I'm on a bodybuilding prep. Can't do that. I mean, I could, but it would suck. I might die. I mean, I probably won't actually die, but you guys get what I'm saying. Like it, it just- What do you mean by that? It would be a little more suffering than I wanted to endure. So that's why those were high. Nothing too, I would say, scary there. Everything else was relatively good. I do want to point out a couple things though, despite the things being good. So my sodium and potassium levels were good. One of the things that a lot of people seem to get wrong is that they think that water itself is going to hydrate you. Water itself will not hydrate you. You need things like sodium, potassium, magnesium. You need those things to actually hydrate you. Water can actually deplete you of those minerals and in turn, I would say like dehydrate you because you're dehydrating yourself of those minerals by constantly flushing them out. So you need an even balance of water and those minerals in your system to be properly hydrated. A lot of people, again, get that wrong. That's why I became so adamant at one point about you know promoting the hydration mix from Transparent Labs because it was super crucial to me after I had fainted in Oklahoma. Like when I went to Oklahoma, as some of you guys know, for work, in the summer, Devin and I were, we, what was it? We were going to the gym. And before we went into the gym, I drank a little bit of water, was, you know, pounding an energy drink before we went in, got up, stretched, looked around, and then I just, boom, <laughs> passed out on the floor and it sucked. And the reason being is because I didn't have proper hydration with me or I just wasn't properly hydrated because I didn't have things like you know, magnesium, sodium, potassium in my body to keep me hydrated. So I basically fainted from dehydration. Just wanted to bring that up. If you guys are interested and you guys want a hydration mix, Transparent Labs makes an amazing one. They just introduced the peach mango flavor in their lineup of hydration mix and it is just so good. It tastes like juice and it's zero cows. It is just so amazing. So strongly suggest you guys go check it out. Anyway, time to get to the good stuff. So estrogen levels were good. They're where they need to be for a male. Uh, I was at 21, which is good for libido and whatnot. Now we're at testosterone. So as you guys will see, because it's on the screen, my levels were good. To be specific, I was at 509 nanograms per deciliter, which is really good. My free testosterone was also good as well. So here's the thing. Normally for someone who is natty, I would say is that their testosterone levels would most likely drop from doing something like this. Now. I'm not sure if those other guys that are natural are getting their blood work done further down into the prep, but for me, I think that, you know, being four weeks out was pretty deep into the prep, and I was honestly shocked by those numbers. Rory was giving me shit, and he was like, oh, oh dude, yeah, that's a little suspicious, don't you think? Because if you're preparing for a show and your test levels are still relatively high, 
it means that you know you're pumping testosterone into your body. I just switched up the angle really quick because the light went out. I still want a good lighting. But anyway, yeah, so the reason that, you know, for unnatural people that their testosterone levels would be, you know, normally high despite them, you know, preparing for a bodybuilding show is because they're unnatural. They're pumping more testosterone into their body. So it was weird to see that mine is not, mine's not high. It's just in regular levels. It was kind of on the low end of regular levels. And I don't know. I wish, like, I would have got my blood work done before. Uh, you know, I got to four weeks out just because then I would have been like, oh yeah, my testosterone dropped because, you know, I'm on this prep. So I'll definitely get it done again, you know, probably like, I would say like a month or two after my show has passed. But yeah, I just want to share that with you guys because I thought it was kind of weird and interesting. But there was another point I wanted to make and it's that I know a lot of you guys probably follow other people that are in the fitness space out there. And I have seen in the past some people who went and got their blood work done. And mind you, these are people that claim to be natural, weren't preparing for a bodybuilding show, and their blood work back, blood work back, their blood work came back very odd. And I say that because a lot of those people, their blood work would come back and their testosterone would be very, very low. And the reason that's weird is because typically what happens if your testosterone comes back like that and you're not preparing for a show or anything, it's because you were pumping something into your system that was raising your testosterone, your body got used to relying on it, so that when you came off of it, your body dropped to a lower level of testosterone because it was relying on that source of testosterone to carry you through, and now that it's not, it's gonna plummet. So I just want you guys to be aware of that anytime you know someone else in the fitness space or someone else that you guys follow, you know, their stuff comes back kind of weird. Just be kind of like conscientious of like, okay, maybe that person that I want to look like that got their blood work done and it's looking kind of shady isn't really natural like they claim to be. And I shouldn't have to be so hard on myself to strive to look that way. Now, I'm not saying that's everyone. Some people just like, some things go wrong in their body, but I've seen it before and that's why I'm sharing it with y'all. Yeah, I'm interested to see what my testosterone levels are looking like, you know, after this prep is all said and done. You know, maybe my testosterone levels normally sit at like 650, 700, you know, and you know, they dropped to like, what was it, 509 because I've been on prep, who knows. Um, but that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, be sure you have a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. And as always, dad trying to do what you love. The sky's the limit. I'll see you all in the next one.